Good morning, my class. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. So it's English time and today we have a new lesson, so I want you to be ready to learn. Before starting the lesson, I want to say something to you. Um, today is Hagilela and I celebrated Hagilela today with my kids and I want you also to celebrate Hagilela with your parents and siblings. I know all of you are staying home because it's not safe to go outside. So please, I want you to take care of yourself. You can celebrate Hagilela and be happy also. So now let's read the day and date. Yesterday was Tuesday, so today is Wednesday. Well done. Today is Wednesday. And what is the date? April 8, 2020. Excellent. So as you can see here, there's two things we are going to talk about today. The first one is a story and the other one is a Nasheed about Allah created everything. So let's go ahead and read the objectives. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to retell the events of the story and that you can compare the important points in two texts. So well done. Here we have two, we have two lengths. So we are going to go to the story first, a special sunset. So let's read the story together. I want you to prepare your papers. Please write the day and date. And let's go ahead and read the story. Please sit properly and listen carefully. So everyone, let's read the story together. Genre. Fiction. Essential question. What can we see in the sky? A Special Sunset by Loretta Wilcox. Illustrated by Jeremy Pugeot. Paired read. Shadows and Sundials. Page 17. A neighbor took Maria and her dad to the airport. Maria was delighted. She and dad were going to fly on a plane. Her adventure was about to begin. Our plane is late, Maria grumbled. Then Dad pointed. At last it had arrived. Maria sat next to the window. She looked out at the airport. Soon, the plane took off. The plane climbed high in the sky. Maria kept looking out the window. She enjoyed watching the land fall away. The sun was setting. Its light made things glow. They flew over trees. They flew over houses. They flew over lakes. Stop and check. What does Maria see from the window? Then Maria noticed something strange. The sunset did not move. They did not pass by the sun. Dad! 
Gloria said. The sunset is following us. How does it do that? The sun is very far away, Dad said. Things on the ground are much closer to us. That's why they seem to move quickly past the window. The sun is far away. It moves slowly in the window. The sun had set. Now it was nighttime. Maria looked out at the sky. Clouds glowed in the moonlight. She knew the moon was far away, so it would follow them too.